Life on the streets taught me that quick reflexes can mean the difference between coming home and coming home in a box. Sometimes it can help you dodge a bullet. I mean, not literally, but you can remove yourself from harm's way. Let's see if I can teach you some new tricks, old dog. First, breathe from the bottom of your belly. Slowly flex that diaphragm. Feel the air filling you from your toes to the top of your head. Now, don't hold it. Just release it. Not too slow, but not too fast either. Focus on your breathing and repeat the exercise three or four times. Okay, talk is cheap. I'm gonna fire the rubber bullets at you. You try to anticipate the shot and cover before you get hit. Ha! <laughs> that was fast. You're pretty spry for an over-the-hill pre perestroika scientist. Take cover, Igor! You're getting good at this. Take cover, Igor! Nice moves, old-timer. You still got it. Take cover, Igor! Good to see you're still in shape. It'll come in handy. Outstanding. You got the reflexes of a teenage gangbanger on Crystal. I take you into my crew. No questions asked. Nice moves, old-timer. You still got it. What can I do for you, Professor? Listen, Georgi, I know what I'm doing, but there's no going back now. I know, my dear friend. It's just that we lost such a brilliant mind that terrible night. I'm afraid of losing you, too, all over some romantic squabbles. And this misunderstanding also cost you your good looks. I don't want to listen to this anymore. No more distractions, you hear me? Oh yes, of course. I'm very happy to hear that it's all in the past now. Good. So let's get to it. I would like to see some results as soon as possible. We both know that she's the key. We've wasted enough time already. All right. All right. Just don't do anything rash, please. We need to follow the proper protocols. So my dear friend Boris worked with Semenov even after the Chernobyl disaster. I wonder what happened to his face. And Tanya is the key. The key to what? Gah, more secrets. I've got to keep digging. Your trials were too aggressive, my friend. I told you that you were using too much, didn't I? I told you. You're lucky you didn't end up brain dead like the others. But here we are. Boris is dead. Truly dead this time. There's no reason to pretend otherwise now. I suppose I should have seen this coming. The mental projections you told me about, the visions, they've been building for some time. To be honest, I just thought that your hallucinations meant you were losing your mind. Prolonged exposure to Chernobylites often causes psychosis and hysteria, after all. Why, I've seen the test subjects babbling about Cthulhu, or wanting to save the world from rats.
You really did it, my friend. You crossed the Rubicon. You achieved something that no one has ever achieved before. Well, except her. But she has a different purpose. You will be the first of your kind. You will help me bring about a new era of human evolution. You will help me reach the stars. Forget your past. Forget your pathetic personal involvements. Distractions. Foolish distractions for the weak. Wasting your time seeking validation from others, but not anymore. You don't need any of that going forward. You're to be my right hand in the days to come. It's time to drop your old mask and don a new one. Time to become what you were always meant to be. The Black Stalker. Wake up soon. We've got plenty to do, you and I. So it was Boris all along. He started the Chernobylite trials on himself and became the Black Stalker. Dear God. I've told you everything you need to know, General. What seems to be the problem? The problem? That's what you're calling it. Look, I won't even pretend to understand what you and your lab monkeys are doing down there. And I wouldn't care if I did. What I do care about is this facility and the safety of my men. So the next time you decide to rush an experiment that can potentially release a bunch of fucking monsters into the world, please tell me beforehand so I have time to devise a strategy. First off, the shadows are key to our research. They are hybrids that... You know what? I won't bother you with details that you won't be able to understand anyways. And second, actually... No, I'm responsible to the board, not to you, Kozlov. Your job is to safeguard this operation, not lecture me on things you will never come close to understanding. In fact, the board wants you to cooperate closely, very closely, with my right-hand man. I would like you to familiarize him with all of our security protocols. Who? The freak in the black mask? You want to tell me who the hell he is? I like to know who I'm working with. If you need a name, call him what the rest of your men call him. The Black Stalker. One last thing. I know you don't share my views on the future prospects of this organization. But don't even think about throwing in the towel. If we fail, there will be hell to pay for both of us. There is no walking away now. So the NAR is somehow responsible for creating shadows. Or at least releasing them into the world. And Boris, the Black Stalker is also involved in NAR security. Great to see you, Igor. I've got a fan-fucking-spastic plan that you need to hear. <laughs> yeah, right, of course. Sounds fan-fucking-exciting. Stop bitching and be grateful there's someone here to do the thinking when you're not around. Anyway, listen up. 
I think the time has come to kill off the biggest knobber of them all. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Who's on your shit list today? Drum roll, please! -l 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 General Kozlov, the single biggest NAR twat of them all! Time to end his miserable life, pay back for what he did to my friends, and for his other shameful deeds, of course. Can't forget that. <laughs> You've got friends? That's new. Yeah, very funny. This fucker and his cronies iced my boys. Don't you ever joke about that. You fucking hear me? His lapdogs captured us, tortured us. I got lucky. They just beat the ever-loving shit out of me and left me to die. What happened? He thought we were human trash. Something he could just dispose of. They tortured and killed my friends! <laughs> Uh, I made it. Might have taken one too many blows to the head. Uh, who knows? Anyway, a perfect opportunity to exact revenge on this cocksucker's approaching. He's gonna give some kind of motivational speech to his private army of knobbers outside in Lenin Square. This sounds like a real opportunity. Taking Kosov out is the only way to stop him from interfering with our plans. And to make him pay for his crimes, obviously. As much as I admire clean work, shooting him like a lame deer would be a mistake. We should make him talk first, learn everything we can so we can better prepare for our heist. Passwords, codes, guard routines. After we have what we need, then we off him. We are going to pull the Rat King's teeth one by one. Kozlov is one of his shiniest bangs and sharpest. But we should question him first. Killing him straight away would waste all the work we put into exposing his big plans, and the end of the world, and all that. I agree on one point. Kozlov must die. But we don't have time for fun and games. Just dispose of him quickly and get out. Maybe he does deserve to suffer, and perhaps he has some intel we could use. But the only way to make sure he can't interfere is to kill him right away. That's what I recommend. We need Kozlov alive. I'm open to suggestions. I can definitely help with that. The actual camp is located in Energetic, the former palace of Kocha. There are two ways in. The main entrance is probably guarded, of course, but they only post two guards at the side door. You know the place, right? Yeah. I lived here a long time ago, but some of the details are fuzzy. It's not complicated. Those NAR fuckers just walked in and make themselves at home. The front entrance is a no-go. But the side door will be a breeze. The guard detail is very light. Insultingly so. And that's where you come in, or go in, or whatever. Kaslov's digs are on the top floor. Once you get inside, it shouldn't be hard for a man of your talents to slip past the guards. Security is a bit of a joke, like every fascist you ever met. They got cocky. They're not expecting anyone to snoop around. And remember, most of them will be distracted by Kozlov's speech. Maybe he'll even put them to sleep for us. This is a great opportunity, Mousy. The Rat King's minion will be vulnerable, alone, just waiting for you. The time has come to instill the fear of the great Rat Catcher in their black and shriveled hearts. Okay, I'm ready to talk to Kosloff.
Koslov, the most hated man in the zone. He's ruthless, but hardly a mastermind. Despite his civilized appearance, he may just be a mad dog, unleashed by the NAR. Still, you could probably learn a lot from him. He could be your ticket into the power plant. Bad news, Igor. What's going on? Kozlov is about to leave the NAR encampment. Very convenient timing, isn't it? Convenient indeed. So, change of plans? Go to Hotel Policia, top floor. You'll have a great vantage point from up there. It will allow you to pinpoint Kozlov. What was his name? Sounds good. Excellent. We should pursue this plan. This will bring us closer to defeating the Rat King. You're one psycho geezer, Terracan. But I like you because you love to stir shit up. Working with you is a real pleasure. You may <laughs> be far from divine enlightenment, Sashko. But your heart is in the right place. I could use a smoke.
I'm on the top floor, and I've found some binoculars. Good. Lack famous bold mouses like yourself. I see him. General Koslov in the flesh. The chief rat. Now listen closely, mousy. His living quarters are in the building on your right. Top floor. The time for action is now. Gather your courage and go, mousy. Uh, what about a little help? Perhaps some kind of diversion? Yes. Luring the other predators away is always a good idea. Use the generator to power up the ferris wheel. Its lights will attract them like moths. Like moths? That might work for a minute or two, but it won't last. Do you have a better idea? I might. Shut down the generator instead, and they'll be blind. Then you'll have no problem sneaking past the guards and getting to your target.